OK, let us begin uh, solving this uh, question. Um, this question states uh, one pound mass of water. And fills a uh, 2.4264 feet cubed. So let me share with you this one. Okay. So this is the total volume of the container. For example, this is a container. Let me do one thing. And it has a weight, like a weight acts like a pressure, like pressure equals to uh, force per unit area. So the weight itself is like a force, force per unit area. So it's a, when you have a, a weight on the container, so this is a, this is water and it has weighted piston cylinder device at a temperature so initial temperature initial temperature is 600 fahrenheit and now can you find out the specific volume specific volume is Even like this so it's a one pound mass so when the mass is like it is one pound so i can write down so it is like same volume converted into specific volume so i can write down look i can write down here feet cubed So usually we write down the specific volume and on the chart like P and V chart. And if you draw, want to draw the, this is a little bit weird. This is the issue. So it's a dry line and this is the liquid line. The water is at 600 and this volume. Now, the piston cylinder device is now cooled until the temperature is 200 Fahrenheit. Determine the final pressure of water in PSI. So we have to find out the final pressure. Now, if you say, uh, let me ask you a question. If this is a weighted piston cylinder and pressure is weight per unit area, so the weight is constant because weight equals to mass times gravity over area. Now, my question is, if suppose, now, first of all, let us see where is the uh, state point. So in order to see this, we have to look into the table. So let me open the table and you will look in table six or five E. So let's see pressure table or temperature table. Okay. Temperature table, it is 600. Okay. So this is a cut and paste. So I just cut small 
uh, portion of the table term, uh, such uh, this E stands for remember E stands for English system like we have specific volume in uh, feet cube uh, per pound mass like we we need this so can you trace look at this this is our given value of specific volume now this is you have to compare with this VG this is the column which we are interested in to compare and this is the row which we are interested in. why why this row because the temperature initial temperature of water is 600 Fahrenheit correct and now the specific volume is 2.5 now look at this wall this specific volume so this specific volume is smaller this VG is smaller than our V1 it means we are in the super heated uh, region where is that region look this is over here somewhere here this is the point and the pressure remains constant throughout the cooling process now on this line whether the final state point is inside the liquid vapor mixture or inside the compressed liquids uh, or on the dry or the liquid line so let us figure it out now before i do that i want to show you that if our volume if our specific volume is greater than the v sub g which is this volume v sub g is this volume okay this is v sub g but our volume is greater so it means our we have to look at a different table we have to change the table to superheated vapor which is a 6e so let me open that table and the looking at that table i have to change So I have found the answer. So let me open this one. I want to bring this into your uh, notebook here. So this is the one which I have found what is this so let me open the columns labels so i want to show you the labeling here and this label is over here now it is clear so we are looking we we are looking at 2.4 6 uh, 2.4264 so if you take a look, closer look, this vol, this is a volume column. You have to find out 2.4264 and the temperature is 600. This is exactly what our values are, 600 and 2.4624. And look at the pressure at that, at that uh, state point, the pressure is given as 250 PSI absolute. A stands for, so this is our answer why p and remember p1 equals to p2 because of the uh because of the weighted uh weighted piston so if you see weighted piston the pressure remains constant and now this is this is our first answer have you guys understood the first answer if yes please type in yes in the chat box if not, then I will explain it again. Veronica says yes. Any other student? Taylor says yes. OK, guys, that's good. Now let's find out. Now the process is taking place such that it is cooling down. The temperature goes down to 200 Fahrenheit. Now pressure remains constant. Make sure this, this is our value, which is 250. P R S I A pounds per square inch um, absolute. So now we have to look into the pressure table. So I'm going to open the book and the chapter. So the pressure table is a. OK, pressure table is over here. 
So 250 PSI. Okay, I found this one. So 250 PSI A. This temperature. This is a pressure table. Yeah, it's good. Now, at this pressure, we have to locate the that line or that row which has 250 psi A, and we are looking at the answer. Find the final pressure of water and the volume in uh, feet cubed. Now. What is the volume? I'm sorry, this is 250 PSI. Yes, this is 250 PSI. We have to go back to pressure table. I want to go back to the temperature table at 200. So, okay. This is good. This is the same um, uh, water, but it is now temperature table because our answer is easy to find from the temperature table. So I I found that. We have to look into the rather than the pressure. We have to look into the into the temperature table, and the temperature table we are looking at two hundred. So I'm looking at this row. This is my interested region of uh, interest, and. We are looking at this value. Why is that so? There is a reason. Look over here. Our constant pressure says that the saturation temperature is 400.9 or the boiling point is 400.97. But the question states that the temperature is at 200, uh, at 200 Fahrenheit. So over here, since this pressure is 250 and VF is how much? VF is 400.97, 400. 0.97 uh, feet cube per pound mass. Now our our volume. So look, our our temperature is states uh, like like at 200. The specific volume should be 0 0.01663. So it is over here. Why is it over here? Because this is 0.00. I would say. Point zero zero one six. Let me do one zero. Sorry, point zero one six six three. Why am I writing on point double zero? So it should be point zero one six six three uh, feet cube per pound mass. So this is our answer for this one. So it was we found from the. Let me tell you, we found this. VF from the constant pressure, and we compared our VF, which is at 200. It is smaller than VF at 250 PSIA. That's why it is in the compressed liquid state. So this is our answer. 
So have you guys understood this problem? Please type in yes if you have understood. Otherwise, I will try to explain you one more time. Let us solve one more problem. Uh, this is also, by the way, this is also the homework problem. So it's OK if we understand the homework problem during the lecture is still uh, fine. Uh, you can do it on your on your own later on uh, at home. So let's do one more problem for you two. So I'm going to open this. OK, this is our question number 42. This is also the homework problem. So we will try to solve this problem. Uh, by the way, before we solve this problem, I wanted to show you that last time I uh, gave you the lecture and the last question was this row was uh, I did the interpolation, which I corrected. I, I made another uh, video and uploading on YouTube lecture uh, video lectures. So this is in the uh, the problem was this is this this question states. This you will do it at home, but I have made the video which I will. You can go and check. This is a compressed uh, liquid. Because if you take a look at 500. 500 kilopascal. Uh, what is the saturation temperature? So I think I missed a, it's a 500. So if I go my, let me copy the table here. So or 500. Yes, so I'm going to show you this one. So look at here at 500 kilo. Pascals, the saturation temperature or the boiling point is 151.83, but our temperature is 80. So as I mentioned, if the temperature of the liquid is. Smaller than the boiling point, this is a compressed liquid. So that was a problem last time I probably. Somehow I said that it was superheated vapor due to some confusion, so I made a small video for that. So that's what I wanted to uh, again uh, explain to you today. But the rest of the thing is OK. So let's solve this problem number 42. And the question is. The mass of the. Container uh, of this refrigerant is 10 kilograms. Uh, the refrigerant is one three four eight is in usually used in HVAC system, and the pressure three hundred kilopascals, and fills with rigid. When you see when you see this word rigid, this tells you that the volume is constant. So volume is so this is just a fact. That if you see the rigid, it means the volume is constant. And if you see the weighted piston cylinder, it means the pressure is constant. So when you see these words in the problem, then you should uh, suddenly <clears throat> understand that 
this tells me the weighted standard is a constant pressure process <clears throat> and the rigid container means constant volume uh, process this will help you to identify uh, the processes types and the volume is given is the volume of the container is 40 the complete i would say big big v is 14 liters <clears throat> So you have to convert it into meter cube. So we know that uh, one meter cubed equals to 1000 liters. So can you convert it into meter cubed? So you can do that. So 14, can I write down point 0014? Um, why am I doing so? Let me, oh, sorry. This one uh, I should have done later on. But right now, this is point zero one four. So let me erase this one. I will show you what the specific volume is. The big volume divided by the mass. The mass is 10 kilogram. So point zero one four divided by 10, it gives me 0 0.0014 meter cube per kilogram. So this is uh, the y, uh, the x axis which we usually need for our state point. This is pre, uh, volume, so this is meter cube in the specific volume is on the x axis. This is our dry, uh, liquid line on the other side. This is a dry dry vapor line. So we have to see where where is this volume coming? Is it in the um, inside the liquid vapor mixture or somewhere else? Determine the temperature and the total enthalpy in the container. So let us find out what is the initial state. So in order to do that, if you go to the book and find out the table for R134, a. I think this is table. Yes. A11. So this is table A dash twelve. So we are looking at this pressure, um, this pressure, 300 kilopascal. So I'm going to open the pressure table. For R134A, this is the header for that table. So I want to just copy 300 kilopascals. So let us find out. Oh, this is. Here comes some. Uh, this is not given directly, so I will teach you when this situation happens, when the values are not given directly. Then you have to do some interpolation. So the question is, what is interpolation? This is also a very important. Uh, topic, how do you interpolate between the ta table values if they are not given directly? Our pressure is lying in between these two rows. Look, the pressure is pressure is uh, 300 kilopascals. So our pressure is lying over here. Look, 300 kilopascals. So we have to find out what is T because the question states find out the temperature at 300 kilopascals when the specific volume is given. So what you have to do now let's find out the interpolation interpolation you have to check uh, first of all which variables you are doing the interpolation i'm doing pressure versus temperature so you have to see you have to consider the left hand side so 300 
minus the you can take minus 280 the previous or the preceding value of three now the following value is 320 320 minus 3 uh, 280 so this is what you have to write down and on the right hand side you have to take the corresponding values of the temperature against 300 this is not given this is what we have to find so i'm going to just write down t it is unknown against 280 what is the temperature value it is negative negative 1.25 um sorry this should be 1.25 look why have i done negative in the parentheses because this is negative of the value and this is a negative of the formula because the negative comes here negative comes here that's why the negative of the formula is here so what is the corresponding value of temperature against 320 this is 2.46 so i will write down just the corresponding respective value of the other variable otherwise you will uh, you will mess up the uh, consistency so 280 against 280 you have to do this negative 1.25 so if you solve for this so let me check let me show you how i'm going to so 300 minus 280 Oh, why am I doing this? Can you open your calculators? And to see, do you get this answer 0. 0.61 degrees Celsius? In my notes, this is the answer, but I want to make sure that you get the same answer. Please try, open your calculators and try helping your professor whether this is the same value or it is not the correct value. Okay, thank you. People have done this uh, work. So this is how you do the interpolation of unknown table values between the two uh, va given values. So you might see such problems in your quiz or test. I'm just alluding it to you earlier. So it is good practice to prepare practice again for the interpolation. Okay, let's move forward. The question is find the temperature which we have found already and the total enthalpy of the container now if the what is the total enthalpy of the container before we do the enthalpy now we have to understand that the initial state so what is our our volume it is 0 .00, 0 0.0014 Point zero zero one four. You can compare this one. So if you compare point four versus point zero. Uh, seven so this is greater this value is greater than this value if okay let me tell you if the specific our specific volume is way beyond inside this is about 0 0.07 i know you have to do the interpolation here as well as here but let's assume the value is 0 0.06 assume it. so can you tell me is it lying in the liquid vapor mixture do you agree with your professor our volume is less than the 
0.07 value which is 280 but we can we can estimate here 0 0.07 so uh, at let's see at 300 kilopascal vg vg can be written as 0 0.0 Six, eight. This is very close and very accurate, um, like a very good estimate. Now you will see, you will compare this VG with our actual volume, which is smaller than, so it means our, our state point is somewhere here inside the liquid vapor mixture, which is 0.1. Now let me redraw it here. So if I redraw this over here, to show you, um, this is our liquid line, this is our vapor line, and assuming this is my point one, and the process is happening. Let me show you whether the process, now the container is now heated until the pressure is 600. Now, before I do the pressure, I, uh, the, I want to show you that our value of 0 0.0014, we can find out x, x1 from here. What is the quality? You remember if v1 equals vf plus x, x1 vfg. And what is vf? So all this, you can find out unknown values comparing. Well, here it will be a little lengthy to do interpolation for every um, unknown value. So let's assume. Let me assume one thing, VF1. So VF1, it is 0 0.0007. 0 0.00077. This is our VF. And VG one point zero six eight. So this is our very close uh, guess. And uh, can you find out the X one from here? V one it is point zero zero one four minus VF one point zero 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 seven seven divided by vfg vfg is nothing but vg minus vf so vg is 0 0.068 minus 0 0.00077 so let's do the math here and you can help your professor 0014 minus 0 0.000 Seven seven. Let me put the parentheses to be on the safer side. Point zero six eight minus point zero 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 seven seven. I have X one point zero zero nine three seven. So let's see, this is a point zero zero nine three seven. And remember, if you have some, if you have done some work uh, in our in the quiz or test, if you are a little bit off, then I will still give you full credit for that because I will look at the solution which you will upload on the D two L assignment Dropbox um, after doing the submission MCQs. This is usually I check both the solutions. Write down the answer on the portal, quiz portal, and then show me the solution when you submit. Okay, now we have found X1, we have found V1. Uh, so now let's do the H1. The question is find the enthalpy. So enthalpy for the liquid vapor mixture at this location, at this location, okay? The same formula. The same formula, just replace V by H. Let me show you how. Let me explain to you. You will do the same formula for all the variables like U1, UF1 plus X1, UFG, S1, entropy. This is entropy. As you will not do entropy in this chapter, but I'm just 
telling you a little bit ahead of the uh, lectures. So the same formula in the liquid vapor mixture, you just change the variable names. That's it. Now let's find out what is HF1. So I'm going to show you in our uh, book. I have to show you the chapter. So uh, the table, the table for this one, enthalpy. So we are interested at 300 kilo pascals. So over here is not given directly, but we may need to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do here, look over here, we are interested in this, in these values here. So let's assume over here something very close to approximation. So H, F1. Let's assume this is uh, 52.7 and HG1 250 kilojoules per kilogram. OK, now this is very uh, good guess rather than doing the interpolation, but you can do the interpolation as well, but it will take too long for us to spend in the lecture. So I want to save time. So H equals to, sorry, H equals to HF1. So I get about 54.5. To, it may be a little bit off with your calculator, but I'm just copying and pasting for my notes to show you that you will do. But the idea should be understood, like pro, methods you should understand. If you have understood the method for the first answer, please type in yes. How did we find the enthalpy of the liquid vapor mixture? Did you understand that part? If not, let ask me some questions. Okay, now the question is, this is enthalpy uh, per kilogram. Now the question is, find the enthalpy, total enthalpy. When you say, when you say the word total enthalpy, it is not per kilogram. This is the answer. This is still not the answer because our total enthalpy I will say multiplied by the mass. So it will be around 545.2 kilojoules. This is our exact answer. Then the state, the next uh, statement st says the container is now heated until the pressure is 600 kilopascal. So now it is going up. It is being heated now until the pressure becomes. This is pressure. Uh, let me let me change. This is the pressure line. Sorry, this is. Specific volume, this is pressure. Now, the pressure is 600 kilopascal. So determine the temperature and the total enthalpy at that location when the pressure is doubled. 
So let's go to the pressure table again. I'm going to open the pressure table for R13 to A and open this 600. So yes. So now in this case, 600 is given. Luckily, we don't have to do interpolation in this case. Our value at 600 are tabulated. So 600, the saturation time or the boiling point is 21.55. So the question is, what is the temperature at 600 kilopascal? So your answer should be, should be 21.55. Look, T2 is 21. Point five five. Remember, this is a constant volume process. Why? Because I mentioned in the beginning that if you see the rigid, word rigid means the container is not moving at all. No piston, movable piston, you just have a rigid. So the volume is 0 0.0014, this volume. So the volume is given. So V2. This point, let me rewrite for you. Point zero zero one. Now you will you will tell me that compare compare our VG at two location. So look look at over here this value and compare with our actual volume. So if this value is bigger, which is which is true, this is bigger than our actual volume. It means we are we are in the liquid vapor mixture region, liquid vapor mixture. We are in that uh, region. That tells me it is important that you understand where is the process uh, or the state point located. If you understood this point, this is important for us to uh identify the state point and the location and now at that location you have to find out the quality and you know the quality you see you did the same process what you did in the beginning you have to do in same process like this this formula again for the for the second state point so let me show you what I'm since the values are tabulated so I don't need to do the interpolation so I just have to do the Look over here, V2, VF2, X2, VFG2. So what is V2? It is given. So can I write down? So I'm 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 interested in finding the X2. What is V2? V2 is 0 0.0014. What is VF2? Look over here. This is my VF2. This is my VF2. This is my VG2. Okay, guys. So let me write down here from the copy and paste to 0 0.0008199 divided by divide by the difference of 0 0.034295 minus 0 0.000. This is point, okay? 8199. And if you do the math, you should get 0 0.01733. And it is dimensionless. Have you understood this point? How did I find the X, the quality of state point two? If you understood this, please type in yes. In the chat box, then I will go forward to the next step. Okay, that's good. So now after we do this, we have found the temperature, we have found the quality. Look, we have to find out, we have to find out the enthalpy of the final state. You will use the same formula. Look over here, the same formula, but now you will use it for the second state point. So that's very easy now. If you understood the first portion of this question, you can apply the same process to find out the enthalpy of the 
second state points h2 hf2 agf2 x2 that's it so hf2 is what is this hf2 is hf2 is 81.51 1. what is this hfg it is 180.9 so let me write it down here let me a little bit you bring it okay now it's easy for me to read directly so it is 80 1.51 plus 0.01733 times 180.9. Oh, there is no to be. I'm sorry. So now let's do the math here. So you can help your professor finding out the answer here. This would be in kilojoules per kilogram. 84.64. Do you get the same answer? And now the total enthalpy, H, the big H, is the mass multiplied by the specific enthalpy. 846.4 kilojoules this is the end of the this question but you know after doing this question you can have some level of confidence that how are we solving this these questions from the homework these are all the homework problem i thought i should solve for you guys in the lecture do you think it's a good approach to solve some of the homework problems during the lecture or should I just do the slides and move to the next chapter? Okay. So after we do this, let's do one more problem. Uh, before we do the problem, let's go to the, what we call the slides. Some of the slides we have to go over. Yes, we have to go over to the slides. I'm not sure why. Chapter Now we are doing some uh, ideal gas equations. Uh, before we do that, <clears throat> I want to give you a mini break. Do you want to continue studying to get the early release or do you want to get the mini break now? What do you suggest your professor? Oh, okay. So I'll continue the lecture. So 
So the questions, uh, the this equation is the ideal gas equation. P uh, times specific volume equals to RT. And R is the gas constant, which is universal gas constant divided by the molar mass. The molar mass, they are given in the uh, periodic tables. So 8.31447 is the universal gas constant. So this is, we will solve some problem and I will explain it further to you guys when the time comes. Okay, there are some more formulation. So this is another formula for the P1, V1. This is important. This is a, uh, ideal gas equation for two states. You can find out unknowns using this formula. And uh, what you have to do here, and also the molar mass is, and the mass of the substance or the ID gas is molar mass times the number of uh, mole or mole numbers. And for example, let's do one example here. This is <coughs> nitrogen. So this is the molecule uh, of nitrogen and nitrogen has the molar mass 14, but the two molecules, so the molar mass is, <coughs> so the molar mass is 28. Find out R. <coughs> R equals to universal gas constant divided by the molar mass. If you take a look, the universal gas constant is 8.34. So I can write down 8.31447 divided by 28. So you can find out the you know, the gas constant of of a, of a certain gas using this method. The gas constant is for nitrogen is 0.297. Let's assume this is approximately 0 0.297. Let's do one problem. The problem states, what is the specific volume of nitrogen at 300 kilopascals and 227 Celsius? So we know that PV equals to RT. This is the, the gas equation. And R is given, R you have to, um look into the table which is given in our book so point two nine let me open the book to show you where the table is for the specific heat gases <clears throat> oh 
Okay, look over here. If you go to table A dash two, you can find out some uh, at, at a certain temperature. You can find out some uh, the gas constants and the other values. There are some specific heat capacities. Let me show you the whole table here so that you should be aware of that. These are the values tabulated in our book at the end. Of, so we have found R is given directly in our uh, point two nine six eight for nitrogen uh, kilojoules kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and specific volume is R times T. Remember this T is absolute temperature. So what is temperature? Absolute temperature, you just, since it's in Celsius, you have to add, you have to add 273 in order to convert it into Kelvin. So it would be 500 Kelvin. So I can write down point two, this is point, okay, point two, 2968 times 500 divided by the pressure, which is 300 kilopascal. Why am I not writing down joule, um, pascals here? Because I already have written k kilojoules per kilogram. So if you write down this in joules, then you have to do it in pascals. So if you do the math for this one, so what do you guys get? It's just a math, so it's not difficult. You just multiply the numbers 0.2968 times 500 divided by 300. About point four, about point four nine five. Let's write down point four nine five. Let's do one more problem. No question is a two kilogram mass of helium. Helium is a, a gas. So is maintained at the pressure and the temperature. Let's come convert it into Kelvin. You have to find out the big V, the total volume. So we know that big V equals to MRT. So this is a gas equation, ideal gas equation. So you can find out big V from here, like MRT, MRT over P. Mass is two, R is now R. You have to look at the table for helium. The table this is 2.0769, 2.0769. Two point zero seven six nine, two point zero seven six nine times the temperature, which is 300 Kelvins divided by 300 kilopascals. Have you guys understood this these problems? These are just uh, small problems, but we, we, I usually start the new topic with the small problems, then I go to the little bit more complex problem. Have you understood these uh, mini overview problems? Please type in yes. If not, then I will explain them. Okay, let's do one more problem.
uh, one meter cube tank. This is a tank. And the volume is one meter cubed. Containing air at 25 Celsius. This is containing air. OK, this tank is containing air and 500 kilopascals. It's a very large pressure like. Five times the atmospheric pressure, almost five times. Okay, now it's connected through a valve. So it is connected to some kind of valve. And to another tank. So we have another tank. And uh, it is containing five kilogram air. This is also air at 35 celsius and the pressure is a little smaller as compared to the first tank now the valve is opened the entire system is allowed to reach thermal equilibrium with surroundings which are at 20 celsius Surround temperature. determine the volume of the second tank so this is our second tank So of us determine the volume of the second tank and the final equilibrium pressure. So we have to find out the find out the volume of the second tank. I would say final. V big V F sub F of the two seconds and Final equilibrium, equilibrium uh, pressure after we open the valve. So now we know this equation, gas equation. Now Look at here. This temperature, if I write down this as final temperature, 293 Kelvin. This is our final temperature. R for air, it is 0.287. This one is given. Um, this R is given 0.287. So R is given. The mass, the final mass, it is the combined mass of cylinder one and cylinder two. Now, the mass for cylinder two is five. What is the mass of cylinder one? We do not know, but we know one thing. P1, P1 equals to MR. T1. Can I find out M1 from here and plug it in over here? So let's do this. P1 is 500. P1 is 1 divided by R is 0.287. Temperature 1 is 298. So the mass is 5.846 kilograms. So this is the mass, 5.846. So the total mass is 10.846 kilograms. Now we have found the total mass of the finals um, when the both when the when the valve is open, both tanks are now as a one tank. You see my point? And now we have to find out what is V sub F. The final volume in VFA 
I will say V1. Let's find out what is V1 plus. V1 is one uh, meter cubed. But what is V2? We do not know. But you know, we can find it out. Look, we can find out P2, V2, MR, P2. So M2 is the mass in the second cylinder or second tank. 0.287. Temperature is 35. 35 should be added with 273, 308. We need to find out V2. So divide by, so I'm going to write down V2 as P2, which is 200 kilopascals, 200 kilopascals. So if you solve for this, so you should get about 2.21. So can I write down 2.21 here? So I will get 3.21 meter cube when the both valves, uh, bo both tanks are joined together. Now we can find out final pressure. This is our objective. What is the final pressure? Final pressure is MF RTF divided by VF. Now the guys, guys here, we, the question is also find, determine the volume of the second tank. We have done this over here. This is our first answer. Okay, and the second answer will be found from this equation. Find the pressure, final equilibrium pressure. So let's plug it in over here. MF, which is 10.846.287. Final temperature is the equilibrium temperature, which is 293. 293 divided by the final volume, which is the combined volume of the two cylinders, which is 3.21. So if you solve for this, you should get about 284.2 kilopascal. It makes sense because, you know, initial, the first tank is about 500 kilopascal, second tank is 200. When they're, they're joined together, the pressure mm, is equilibrium over here. Have you understood this question? Please type in yes if you have understood this question or ask me some question if you are not sure. So, okay. With that, I'm going to end this lecture now. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you, guys.